hi friends welcome back so in this video you will learn about how the epic will look like how the epic template epic example we can write similarly i will be discussing about user story template versus with the example and uh, acceptance criteria and its template along with the uh, acceptance uh, criteria examples followed by how you can write the user story acceptance testing test cases for the same these epics and user stories in this video so here yeah, first we will try to understand what is the epic here? Yeah, how the epic is really represented? The epic would represent something in this way. The template would be as a role, I want to access certain feature or certain thing so that I will be getting certain benefit. This is how the normally the epic will be written for any project. Now, how the real example of epic would look like? Now we will see the epic example something like this this is an uh, online banking uh, application example here the epic example would look like something as a internet uh, banking customer as a online banking customer i wanted to avail a online banking facility so that i can access my bank account anywhere in the world that is the epic example the epic will further divided into user story now we will try to understand what is the template for user story along with the example as well now the user story template would look like similar to epic but we have here it is going to be written as a sub feature earlier there was a feature was there now user story has been further divided into sub feature the template would remain same as a role i wanted to do certain sub feature here and so that i'll get a certain benefits out of this user story this is the template now with the example of online banking we can write something like this as an internet banking customer i wanted to list my account balances so whatever the account that person is having in the bank account or as a customer you wanted to see all the his accounts balances so that the benefit you would be getting here is he can understand the overall financial status of his account this is how the user story would look like for this example now i will be write a user acceptance criteria for this uh, same user story now the acceptance criteria template would look like something like this where it is given is to start with then followed by what are the inputs will be provided to this acceptance criteria or preconditions will be providing for this acceptance criteria after giving this inputs and preconditions when certain actions happens or certain actions trigger then we will get certain outputs or the consequences that's how the acceptance criteria template would look like now we'll try to understand the example of this uh, acceptance criteria if you can see right here is the same online banking application given the customer as one credit account and one savings account now what is the trigger here when the customer logged into the application successfully then what would be the output you should get it you should be able to see both the accounts with the account number with the balance and available fund as well that is the acceptance criteria example here if using this acceptance criteria example how can we write the user acceptance test cases using this example let us uh, understand that in order to write the test cases for this user acceptance testing so you should understand the again the template how the user acceptance test case template would look like the first thing test cases should go through the precondition then followed by an action and an output this is a template of a user acceptance test cases we will see the positive test cases for the same acceptance criteria here verify that customer has two credit account one saving account and is able to log in then successfully then you should be able to see both the account details with the balance and available funds as well that is a one example for the same acceptance criteria now i will write the negative test cases for the same previous acceptance criteria that is the next example i am telling you here. here what we are trying to do here is whatever the preconditions are doing we are trying to provide a 
precondition inputs are invalid inputs. Now what happens when invalid inputs are provided then normally trigger doesn't happen where triggering here is login doesn't happen when login is doesn't happen then it doesn't generate any account number or anything but it has it has to just uh, throw error, error message now we will see how the example of user acceptance testing look like test case look like we have to identify a particular customer who doesn't have any credit card or a savings account now what should happen basically that user should not be able to successfully log into the application because he doesn't have any account here now when he is not able to log in successfully then he should get an error message saying that he is not the right user here then the next type of user acceptance test cases you can write here is related to nfr non functional requirements you are trying to verify for a particular performance or a particular security or a particular availability then how can we write an example here if you can see right so as a performance test we should have a test case something like this verify that response time should be less than 5 seconds that is the test case here and we wanted to do all the performance related test cases execution just to see whether all our tests will be less than 5 seconds in order to get the overall response time from the banking application similarly we have one more enough uh, which is security perspective here we are trying to verify login is secured or not and the third one is availability of the online banking application 24 7 is the another test cases which we wanted to execute as part of nfr i'm hoping you guys got a clear idea what is epic what is user story what is acceptance criteria how can we convert acceptance criteria into detailed test cases as well which i given completely in this example if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video